thrown enough balls to try to throw it without any spin. When you throw it without any spin, you're going to get the most movement of it. I hold it with uh, two fingers inside the horseshoe like this, and thumbs off the seam. As, as, as the ball's released, it's let go with my thumb and my ring finger, and then guide it out with these two fingers. There's been a lot of studies done on why it moves. I really don't want to know why. And with the knuckleball, made it to the big leagues for the first time in 92. And Davis strikes out. It's back to back strikeouts for Wakefield. He got Salmon looking to end the third. Take you out of the double play. Junior went after a bad pitch. Six strikeouts now for Wakefield. You enter a high fly ball to deep center field, and Darren Bragg is there, the new center fielder, and ex Mariner makes the catch. So two away. And a high fly ball should end it. Moving over Cordero, he is there. And a great, great performance by knuckleballer Tim Wakefield, an early birthday present. He will be 31 on Sunday. He goes all the way to shut out the Mariners, the third time that baseball's biggest scoring club, the Seattle Mariners, have been shut out this year. Alice hits it well to right field. Back goes Trot Nixon, and Nixon makes the catch, and that's the night. Wakefield comes on and slams the door. Gets Stevens on a ground ball to third. Gets Louis Alice on a fly ball to right to end the night. And for Texas in the ninth inning, the Rangers get one run on two hits. There was an error. Tim Wakefield will be floating that knuckleball to the plate here tonight in the Bronx. Popped up. Right side and easy for Nixon. One away, leadoff man is gone. Knuckles popped up to the right side, and it's Walker. Two out. With the knuckleball, slower ball. And right into the defense, Giambi grounds out to Walker. So a perfect first inning for each side. Open the doors for Francisco Cabrera to win it for the Braves. Tim Wakefield has pitched brilliantly as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. He has allowed the Yankees only two hits. That's off the end of the bat. Shallow center. Kapler coming on. One out. Not so sure it was true. One two pitch. As we all know, it is the policy. <laughs> With oh. two out, nobody on. Oh, classic. The third caught by Miller. You look at the postseason numbers for Wakefield, a winner in game one of this ALCS. He does. <laughs> 2 2 pitch. Matsui, a late swing, and he's gone. One out. That's three strikeouts in a row. Into left field, not well hit. Manny Ramirez hauls in out number three. Three pitches and strikeout number six for Wakefield. Leading two to one tonight. Two out. Struck out the side. Eight on the night. A new career postseason high. Wakefield's doing his part. Red Sox back. Bottom of the sixth. Up two to one. Tim Wakefield takes over for Boston 12th inning bottom part of the order coming up for the Yankees in a game that started about 5-10 the 0-2 one out fly ball into right field Kapler coming on he got a great jump on that ball two out Yankees a hit away from regaining the lead and it's Rodriguez flying it into center Johnny Damon squeezes it and we're still 4-4 13th inning and Tim Wakefield who pitched around a hit and an error in the 12th runner at first nobody out Matsui grounds to second Bellhorn to second for one and that's all the Red Sox will get here's a 1-1 Williams flies it into right center field Kapler says he has it two out a 3-2 the inning is over Veritek holds on and Wakefield, through all of that, 
pitches a scoreless 13th inning. Here's an 0-2. Got him looking. One out. Four strikeouts now for Wakefield. You always see catchers try to frame pitches. Veritek. That's the furthest thought from his mind. With one out, nobody on. Cairo hits it in the air to center. Easy for Damon. Two outs. Knocked home three with a two out. Three run double back in the sixth. He grounds to short. Cabrera. Another scoreless inning put up by Wakefield. Branion pops it up. It is Scudero who will make the catch for the second out, and it is historic as Tim Wakefield has now pushed ahead of Roger Clemens for the Red Sox career leaders in innings with 2,776 and a third. And he keeps that ball as a souvenir. Victor Martinez calling for it and throwing it in the Red Sox dugout. So that's something for the mantle for Tim Wakefield. Got to have an intervention. And a swing and a miss for Tim Wakefield. It's a milestone for Wakefield. His 2,000th in a Red Sox uniform. It's 10 3. Red Sox on top. The 0 2 pitch. He struck him out in the Red Sox win. Congratulations to Tim Wakefield. He's a 200 game winner. for your 200th win. How special is this moment? It's very special. It's definitely been worth the wait, and I'm so grateful that I was able to do it in front of our home crowd here. Nineteen seasons of professional baseball. Did you ever think you would become one of the 89 pitchers in the modern league era to get 200 wins? Not at all. It never even crossed my mind, but I'm very grateful again that it, it happened in this uniform in front of this crowd looking around over the past month and a half and seeing all these signs. Um, you guys really know how to make somebody really feel loved and I re I'm very grateful to everybody that stayed and rooted me on all the signs and my teammates are all out here. That, sh that shows the character of our team right there. <laughs> 